If you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. I can't see with these glasses from Gilbert. That's normal, Bob. Those are made for watching the eclipse. What are you cooking there, Al? Wow, a big mashed caterpillar. That looks tasty. Where'd you find it? Here in the clearing. I can't wait. These here are eclipse glasses. Do not be afraid. The sun disappears during an eclipse, but that's completely normal, okay? Don't panic. The sun will come back after. Hey, Tarsia. Do you think we're wild animals? We're hamsters. We don't worship the sun. We worship Kalima! The sacred caterpillar. Kalima? Shh, don't say her name. She's so sacred that you're not allowed to say her name. Only we're allowed to say her name. You can't see her, so beat it. Don't even think about it. All right, then. The eclipse is about to begin. I'm the only one who can see her. And right now, I'll see her. Huh? Where is Kalima? Where is our sacred caterpillar? Go and find her! You two! Mm -hmm. Have you seen Kalima? A sacred caterpillar? A sacred caterpillar? Did you see a sacred caterpillar? Uh, no, I don't think so. What's her name again? Kalima? Uh, shh! Don't say her name, or you'll feel the wrath of her tribe! Kalima! Oh, this is an issue. I think the show's about to start, guys. Miguel happy. Miguel like Eclipse. The yin and the yang. Mom, you all right? You don't want to watch the Eclipse? It's more than an eclipse. It's a sign. The yin and the yang in the sky. It means that Pong To is coming for you, Maurice. What is she talking about? And who is this Pong To? Pong To is one of the oldest kung fu masters of the jungle. It is said that he's the greatest kung fu warrior. All right, but what does any of this have to do with the eclipse? We're going to tell you a story. Pong To lived in the freezing wilderness of the north, isolated from everyone. He had dedicated his life to Kung Fu. After many years of solitude, he came to the jungle and chose a young fighter to train. This fighter was Natasha. This giraffe, he seems lovely. Teaching a gym class for young people is really nice, don't you think? No, Ponto is not nice. He is harsh, extremely harsh, because he wants to train the ultimate fighter, the one who will be able to defeat him and take his place in a fight to the death. <gasps> That's why he trained you? Just mm -hmm. for you to replace him? Yes, but I refuse to abide by his rules. I thought that the purpose of Kung Fu was justice. Keep it up. Don't let the rock win this fight. Master, I don't want to live out here away from the jungle. I'm a warrior now. I want to be useful and help others. Your training is not complete. You will only become the ultimate fighter if you fight me and you win. Natasha, are you afraid to face me? No! But I don't want to be like you. I want to become a vigilante. If you think that this is your destiny, then you should go back to the jungle. But one day, I will find you, Natasha. When you have a child, I will come for him, and I'll make him the ultimate fighter. He'll have no choice. Either he'll follow me, or will face me in a death match. I will return when the yin and the yang are visible in the sky. I won't let you, Pong To! The yin and the yang in the sky, the eclipse. This means Pong To is coming to the jungle to search for... Bananas? Or a fight? Oh boy, mm -hmm. pay more attention, both of you! Pong To is coming from a race! Ah. ah. How come you never told me this? 
I wanted to protect you. When I came back to the jungle, I met Tony, Goliath, and Rick, and founded the champs with them. And then soon you arrived. I never wanted you to learn Kung Fu and risk your life. I thought that if you didn't learn Kung Fu, Pong To wouldn't be interested in you. I didn't know that when I had taught you Kung Fu, I was unintentionally putting you at his mercy. And that's how the champs managed to beat the bad guys, but this time it was a close call. Tell another story, Uncle Tony. Tony! Don't tell those vigilante stories to Maurice! You're putting very dangerous thoughts in his head. Come on, little ones, give us your snacks. <laughs> Come on, hurry up! <laughs> These are going to help me! <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, you okay? Those bad guys, they better not come back, because next time, I won't hold back. Bring on the snack! Yes! yes. <laughs> you still don't get it! <laughs> That'll teach you a lesson this time. Maurice, I'll take care of them. They won't come back. No, it's all right. I can take care of it. Especially if you teach me Kung Fu, Uncle Tony. Tell me, Maurice, why do you want to learn how to fight? Well, because it's cool? <laughs> That's not the answer I expected from you. Still, you need help. I will teach you Kung Fu, Maurice, but don't say anything to your mother. She doesn't want you to become a warrior when you grow up. Okay, promise, I won't tell my mom. Great. Your training begins now. Come on, Uncle Tony, I'm ready to learn. All right, then. Your training will begin with that. Faster, Maurice. Phew, all right. Can we fight now? Next part of your training, sweeping the floor. <sighs> Put some effort into it, Maurice. Uncle Tony, weren't you supposed to teach me to fight? Do you have the answer to the question? No, not yet. Then continue with the back rub. Well, I didn't think Kung Fu was like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, now we're even? Are you okay, Maurice? Yes, I'm all right. It's nice of you to try to help us, Maurice. Yeah, even though it's useless and they still steal our snacks, we know you mean well. At least we're friends. My very first friends. Hi, kids. Time to give us your snacks. <laughs> oh, no, you're not going to steal from us every day. <laughs> Leave my friends alone. Come on, guys. Let's go. So, Maurice. Why do you want to learn Kung Fu? To help others. Hmm, very good. Kung Fu's not a weapon. It's a martial art that feeds on your generosity and your bravery. If you fight for others, or if you fight for love, you'll be a great warrior. Now don't forget your promise, not a word to your mother. Pass the salt, please. Of course, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. You all right, Maurice? You like it? Uh, yes, very much. Look out! Huh? I knew it. That's a kung fu technique. Tony, you and I need to talk. Uh... Natasha then told me about Pong To. This Pong To! What does he want with Maurice? He wants to take him far from here to the north to train him to become the ultimate fighter. Maurice will be separated from his friends, his family, and after years of training, he will have to face Pong To until only one is left alive. Huh? Leaving the jungle is out of the question. I won't abandon Junior either. If Pong To is looking for a fight, then we'll fight. Yes, we thump Pong To with Mr. Maurice. You don't get it. Pong To is the ultimate fighter, the strongest warrior the jungle has ever known, and he's never been defeated. Could we hide Maurice and wait for the old master to go away? No, we're gonna thump Pong To instead. Uh -huh. 
we could make a machine to defend ourselves. But it would be better if we could... Uh, Dump Ponto! <laughs> dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Thank you guys, but we'll handle it ourselves if you don't mind. Mom, do you think we could find a way to defeat him or change his mind? Ask Master Hector. He is wise and knows Pong Tu. They taught Kung Fu together. He will advise you. Meanwhile, Tony, Goliath, and I will look for Pong Tu and try to buy some time. All right, be careful. Let's go. We're going to meet Master Hector at the Thunder Temple, guys. So, you haven't seen Kalima, our sacred caterpillar. Yet her tracks lead here. Are you lying to us? Uh, nope. Let me think for a second. Uh, ah, the caterpillar. I remember. I think she went that way. Huh? This is a real issue, Al. <gasps> Kalima! <laughs> For Kalima! Keeping the cooker isn't a good idea, Al. The sacred caterpillar is in there. If we give you the cooker, will you leave us alone? For Kalima! Even if we give it to them, they'll shoot at us. We shouldn't waste a good dish. Look, it's our only chance. <laughs> hey, what? Hurry, Hurry run. run! They show up, they jump on our back, and they don't even say hello. Where are your manners? Maurice, how long have you known Hector? We go way back, back to when I left Mom and Tony in order to become a great vigilante. I had just taken in Junior, who was a very small tiger. I was trying to fight for justice, but I was a show-off back then. You see, kiddo, when you're the great warrior, Tiger, you have to command respect and show others that you're the leader. Be careful, young Tiger. Uh, Grandpa, you're not seeing things clearly, so let me explain. I'm the great warrior, Tiger, a kung fu master, so you should be careful. Before becoming a master, young Tiger, you need to learn humility. What do you know about kung fu, anyway? Come at me, young tiger. I'll defend myself with this blade of grass. <laughs> hmm, two seconds, Junior. Daddy's gonna teach Crazy Grandpa a lesson. Be right back. No! No, stop it! No! I'm sorry! Good, you've learned something today. But there's still a long way to go before you can truly master Kung Fu. Wait a minute, are you telling me that you're a Kung Fu master? Call me Master Hector. Please, Master Hector, you have to teach me. Make me your student. You want to learn Kung Fu? Yes, uh, uh, well, as long as I don't have to clean, because Uncle Tony already made me do that. All right, young tiger, but this will be hard. Very hard. Cut down this tree, young tiger. Yeah, no problem. Do you have an axe? Cut it down with your hands. All right. Now then, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Bring this rock to the end of the clearing, young tiger. It seems heavy, but I know that trick. You need to bend at the knees like this to avoid hurting your back and... But without the hands. Hmm? I wonder if I'd rather clean for Uncle Tony. Climb to the top of that cliff, young tiger. <laughs> no hands or no feet? Without hands. I knew it. And without feet. Why is it that no one ever fights in Kung Fu training? Kung Fu is not all about violence, young tiger. It's about self-control. Come on, get back to your training. This tree won't cut itself down.
Glorious. This is Coral. He's also one of my students. What? Uh, what? Uh, hello? He's not warrior material. Why are you wasting your time with a loser like him? I'll smash you whenever I want, tiger. Ah, phew. Hmm. Beware, I've defeated tougher adversaries. Coral, Maurice, your training will end with a final test. A duel between you two will take place tomorrow at the top of the mountain, when the sun will be at its zenith. But be cautious. If either of you is late, you'll be deemed as the loser on the spot. <laughs> you should just give up now, little tiger. We'll see, Coral. I'm on time. <laughs> oh. What? Are you out of breath? Huh? Huh? Uh, we should go, don't you think? <laughs> You're trying to avoid the fight, little tiger. You're afraid? Well, goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. Wait for me here, kiddo. Hang on, kiddo. I'll rescue you. Don't be afraid, I'm here. Hmm? Master Hector? I'm proud of you, young tiger. In choosing to help others instead of caring about your personal success, you found the way of justice. My eyes haven't seen anything for a long time, but I could see you were meant to be a hero. Okay, great, but I'm not sure we're going to get through this. Oh, don't worry. The flames and the costume were really just a setup. The truth is, it's just a minor fire, that's all. A minor fire? In the woods? Oh, are there trees? Didn't see them. All right, if you'll follow me, Master, we can still escape. Well, to be honest, I threw my back out when I put the diaper on, so I can't walk right now. Of course. <laughs> oh, no, no way! And there. We got past that. Now we just need to climb this cliff. Use your head, young tiger. Ow, ow, ow! We need to hurry up! Never mind. Go for it! <laughs> That feels better. Ugh. Well done, young tiger. You've saved us. Now then, let's put out the fire and meet Koro at the top of the mountain. Huh? <laughs> Too late, tiger. You're late, so I've won the duel. <laughs> Oh, yes. Who's the winner? It's Koro. <laughs> yes. Who found his inner path? It's Koro. Yes, Koro. You've indeed won the duel. But the final test wasn't actually the duel. <laughs> what? Maurice is the one who made the most of my teachings by letting his generosity and his sense of sacrifice speak. Today, he's the one who has found his inner path. That's crazy. Look at him. He can barely stand. He's no match for me. I'm the strongest, and I'll prove it. Come fight, young tiger. Come on. <sighs> Please. All right, all right, I surrender. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, young tiger. You were lucky this time, that's all. <laughs> and that is how Master Hector taught me humility. That's a lot of stairs. Master Hector, something crazy is happening. There's been an eclipse and Pong Tho is coming, I know. Huh? Uh, you already know? How can he know that if he's been living all alone at the top of his mountain? Plus, he's blind! Young Tarsier, you want to know how I know things without using my eyes? I have good hearing! On top of my mountain, I just need to hear the murmur of the jungle to know all of its secrets. Uh, so you want us to believe that you can hear what's happening in the jungle from here? Pfft, that's impossible. 
My mother thinks you can help us. She said you can give me advice about Pong To. You think I can defeat him? You will not defeat Pong To. A fight against him would destroy you. Mr. Maurice strongest one. If Mr. Maurice not beat Pong To, nobody beat Pong To. Master Hector, there must be some way to defeat him. He must have a weakness. A very long time ago, when he and I were training together, he left the secret of his strength hidden in the Well of Truth. Only he who is deemed worthy to become the ultimate fighter will find where the secret is hidden. Follow me. Okay, more stairs. Wait for us here. We won't be long. This way, Bob! A dead end? What do we do? Don't come closer! That's right, Al. Keep it up. This is a real issue. Miguel very worried. What Mr. Maurice do if Mr. Maurice not beat me in Pong To? Fighting might not be the only solution. Perhaps we could trick Pong To into leaving Maurice alone once and for all. Good idea, Gilbert. But what we need to know how to find Pong To? Well, Hector said you could listen to the rumble of the jungle. Let's give it a try. Gilbert, you said that it was impossible. There isn't any harm in trying. <laughs> ah, Miguel. A long time ago, Pong To proclaimed that he would only be defeated by the one person who would unite the yin and yang. His secret may lie here, in the Well of Truth. And how does it work? Do we ask our question and wait? I don't know. I never linger in the Well of Truth. My old bones can't stand the humidity. Well? Maybe we just need to ask. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Well. Do you know how to unite the yin and the yang? We want to defeat Pong To. Junior, Daddy's trying to speak to the magic well. Mr. Well, yoo-hoo, did you understand my question? Bob, we need to get out of here. Yeah. Kalima! Actually, we might want to stick around a bit longer. Kalima! Cyclone Hoof. Bob, we can't stay here. Yeah. The Cyclone Hoof. That's him. That's Pong To. What's that noise? That's Pong To's Cyclone Hoof, the most powerful tech to... Pong To, known to... I got this. <laughs> Don't confront him, or you'll perish. Hmm? You're right, Junior. Sorry, Master. A warrior tiger never gives up. Oh. Natasha, you know why I'm here. Yes, Master Pong To, and you won't change your mind? You know that I won't. You should try and buy us some time. I have a plan. Give me a little more time, Master, to say goodbye to my little tiger. Then I'll bring him to you. One hour, then you'll have to bring him to me in the mouth of the flame breather. Mouth of the flame breather. Mouth of the flame breather. Hey, Gilbert, I heard Mouth of the Flame Breather, but where is that? Yeah, well, that didn't really help. So, it's not Mouth of Flame Breather? Well, well done, done, Miguel. Miguel. Hey, Jungle Bunch, where are they? Are you still mad at us? Huh? Back away. Those who have dared to attack Kalima will die. 
Al and Bob. Hi, guys. Ah, uh, Maurice, good timing. What did you do to get them so upset? Just a little recipe from Ashed Caterpillar. <laughs> now calm down, hamsters. Caterpillars are soft, rubbery, and ugly anyway. You can't eat that. Did you say ugly? He disrespected Kalima! That's it! You asked for it. <laughs> Do mash caterpillars move? Ow, Bob, no! Kalima! They are the chosen one! The chosen one! Wait, the chosen ones? Who chose who? Anyway, I have to go and find a giraffe. Hey, we saw a giraffe. It went that away. But it didn't look very friendly. Okay, thanks. Have a good trip. There's the notorious Punkto. <gasps> He's ginormous. Well, we need a plan to get rid of him. Ah, Miguel, no. Give bananas to Punkto. Stop with the bananas. That's ridiculous. Mm, maybe not, Gilbert. Do you want the great tiger warrior? Here you are. We don't want him anymore. <laughs> Mr. Maurice in the bag. Not bag of bananas. Shh. Miguel. Master Ponto, you want my son? There, take him. I don't want him. He's naughty. But you'll need to wait till you're home to open the bag. Oh, great. That's Goliath's idea, right? Yes, why? Yes, Goliath had a very good idea. Thank you, Miguel. What did you put in your bag? Enough! I will not be made a fool of! Oh no. Do you have a plan B? <sighs> don't be, don't be, don't be! <laughs> that had to hurt. Are you okay, Miguel? Let me guess the bananas flying. I was expecting this. Everyone's here and started without us. I'm going to set an example for my son who is learning the Kung Fu Code of Honor, and I'll be worthy of Uncle Tony and Master Hector's techniques. I'll fight you alone, Master Pong To. You came for me, right? Hm. No. What do you mean, no? I'm Natasha's son, the great tiger warrior. You just said it. Your son has learned Kung Fu too. Today, my last descendant isn't Maurice, it's Junior. The only potential ultimate fighter who must make a choice between following me and learning or fighting is him. Whoa, 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 that's impossible. There's no way Junior will fight you. But son, he's the greatest Kung Fu master. You'll risk your life. Junior, wait, listen to me. Hmm. Yes, you're right, son. I can't make the decision for you. You're the Kung Fu heir. Show them you're worthy. My little tiger. Hmm. You chose to confront me, little tiger. Prepare to endure the wrath of Pongto. Master Hector said that the new ultimate fighter will unite the yin and the yang. The yin and yang represent good and evil, light and darkness, strength and wisdom, water and fire.
the Yang unite and you are truly impressive. But this is not over. Cyclone Hoof! Junior, we're so proud of you. Look at how our little Junior has grown. Little Tiger Super Strong. Oh, right, Junior. Well done, Junior. <sighs> this was a fight to the death. Not only did you defeat me, but you spared my life. You deserve your title of Ultimate Fighter, Junior. One day you will pass on this title to someone who deserves it. Safe journey, little Tiger. Now that Junior is the ultimate fighter, let's hope he won't get a big head. And speaking of big heads... Al? Bob? What are you doing here? Shh! You can't say their names. The sacred butterfly Kalima has chosen them. That butterfly? <gasps> Kalima! What did I do?